guys sorry about that I'm back okay this is another thing including those balls I showed you and my huge piece of selenite this is something else that my husband found at, or my ex-husband found at his old job at the old apartment building he worked at he just found a bunch of these around and um in a vacant or uh sorry when they're kicked out evicted sorry <laughs> brain fart um evicted apartments and I don't know what this is. I'm guessing it's some kind of dyed agate or chalcedony is what I thought. But I'm not really sure. I'm not as good with the raw crystals as I'd like to be. I'm working on it. But this is just, you know, a sliver. And I'm pretty sure it's dyed agate. But I'm not sure. So if you do know, if somebody does know, please let me know. Because I would love to know what it is so I can, you know, work with it right. Um, I haven't really had time to even really pay much attention to this one. Just, you know, uh, you're about to see how many crystals I have. And I pay a lot of attention to a lot of them. Some of them I don't pay as much attention as I want to. But, yeah. So that is this box. <laughs> These are just some little baggies I have. I'm going to fix all that in a minute. Yeah, I think I showed you guys everything. Oh, and there's my little rose quartz. It's so pretty. But you can't even see it really with my light. Here's a little pebble, too, I found. I love it. I don't know why, but... I love it. It's a, such a cute, pretty little rock. I just keep it with my crystals. <laughs> Alright, these are most of my crystals. Yeah, I have a lot. And they're kind of bunched together right now. As I'm, you know, trying to figure out more and more for them to go. But I hate them. I feel like, I feel almost like I'm disrespecting them with the way it is now. I take them out and I, like, pay attention to most of them and, like, do stuff. And then I take more out and do this and that. But seems to have been so hectic but <clears throat> here is my pink crackle quartz lepidolite I think that's how you say it Lepi, lep lepidolite or lepidolite black obsidian I love it that's peach or no that's apricot agate it's so pretty my little sodalite my big sodalite picture jasper I love picture jasper tourmalite quartz that is zoocyte. Yeah, zoocyte. Picasso stone. Here's my Apache tear. I've had this one for such a long time. I love Apache tear. Uh, rhodonite. This, okay. I can't figure out what this one is. But it's like tan, but it's got like the hot pink raspberry colored like spots on it. But it's like tan and black with like brown and then she, okay somebody this person I used to be friends with they told me this was rhodonite okay I am sorry I don't think it is I mean if it is because it does have like see right there the little spots of the raspberry color if it is then I mean I just I don't feel like it is if somebody knows what this is because it's not Dalmatian Jasper and it's not whatever you know a whole bunch of other stones that are like black and white because it's not like white it's like tannish. I don't know. Focus. Okay, that's not working. See what I mean? It's like brown. So, I don't know. I would really like to know what this one is because this one gives me some really intense dreams. I slept with this one for like a month straight. And I mean, like I said before, ooh, whoops. Like I said before, my dreams are everything. They mean you know I took a test on a Facebook even and he said I'm a dreamer one of my gifts is my dreams and that's true and it was kind of weird that I took the test at the time I did because I've been my dreams have always been intense but they've just been more so but anyway back to this <laughs> here's my chia delight chia cheese delight some of them I can't really pronounce i if I know I'm pronouncing them wrong and I'm really sorry but I do know what they all are so <laughs> and I know usually pretty much what they all work for Mahogany Obsidian. I love this one. It's so beautiful. Here's my Labradorite. This one, when I got it, it was only 50 cents at the Silver Air. It's a Native American. It's where I go to down the street from my house. And it was the only one that had the spectrum that had when you did the color. See that? God, I love it. But, which is okay, because I wanted a smaller piece. I have actually a really big one. There's my Sears stone. I did that. I showed you guys that in my divination video. My citrine. God, it's so pretty. I love my citrine. 
moonstone. Other than my malachite, my moonstones, I have three. Two cream, one of them is raw, and then this is the other one. And it was like that when I got it, but I just, I love this one. It's so daunting. And then I have a rainbow one. Moonstone is definitely, was my first favorite stone. And then right here, let me show you. My Merlinite, definitely another one of my all-time favorites. I was kind of upset when I bought this. This was the one with the most gem quality on it. So it's not that much, but it's still, it's amazing. I love Merlinite. Mer Ugh, Merlinite is so, it's just when you feel it, you can tell how it's just filled with magic. Like there is no, I'm not going to say there's no sto stone more magical, but still. it's. This is my big heart-shaped Labradorite. I'm not really a big fan of the heart-shaped stones, but look at that. I mean, <laughs> Look at that. And this is, somebody actually gave this to me, and we are no longer friends. It's a long story. I actually made another video about it, the girl with the falcon and everything. She gave this to me a while ago. But, you know, I don't really like her anymore. That <laughs> doesn't mean I don't love my crystals. Yeah. All right, and there's Green Adventuring. I have two. Actually, where's the other one? Right here. There's my other one. And then, okay, I cannot figure out what this is either. When I bought it, I was told that this is crazy lace. Oh, God, okay, my hands are slippery really bad right now. Slippery and dry, doesn't make sense. <laughs> but um, I was told that this was a crazy lace. This was a form of crazy lace. Okay, I know what crazy lace looks like, and this does not resemble crazy lace to me, not in the least. Then I thought with maybe it was rhodonite, but it's not because it's not raspberry. This is like a, it like matches the color of my pants almost, you know? Or well, kind of, not really. <laughs> but it's more like a uh, orangey hot pink, I guess you would say. I don't know. This is my crystal barrel. Or a crystal barrel. It's like another form of cat's eye. And then I bought it, they said it was just cat's eye but it's not it's not regular forms of cat's eye but it's still a form of cat's eye and I love it here is my jaguar stone the leopard skin jasper I love this one definitely helps me connect with my power animal it's amazing oh what else okay unakite oh, I love unakite I want an epidote my little baby zebra marble so pretty my husband actually found this too. Well, sorry, my ex-husband. <laughs> um, he found this too at his work, his old work. So I definitely have a feeling that there was a lot of witches around there. It was a very big uh, mixed area. Like there was, a, you know, plenty of different kinds of religions and different kinds of cultures and stuff around there. So it doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, that's human type, by the way. <laughs> Right, it is eight minutes again, so I'm going to cut you off, and this video is almost done with my crystals, but I just want to make sure I can upload them, so I will be right back, guys.